Hello there, I'm Dr. Struby. I'm a chiropractic physician in Pinellas Park, Florida. I wanted to go over a little bit today about what is a chiropractor, you know? How are they different from medical doctors? Our training between whether you're a chiropractor or a medical doctor are pretty much the same for the first two years. It's anatomy, physiology, learning how the body works and all its different parts. After a couple years, it begins to diverge. Medical doctors spend a lot more time on pharmacology and medications, some procedures, surgical procedures, things like that, whereas chiropractors spend more time on physical therapy, exercises, manipulation. Um, but the amount of time spent is about the same. For becoming a medical doctor and becoming a chiropractor, you're gonna be sitting in the classroom about the same length of time. Now, chiropractors are known primarily for adjusting or manipulation. And the adjusting is generally a manual adjusting where the chiropractor would take their hands, give a push. It is not so much to put a bone back into place as it is to try and restore normal function because if things are working the way they're supposed to work, generally everything goes along fairly well. Now, there are other types of adjusting that are not manual adjusting, using little instruments that deliver a very high-focused, high-velocity thrust. And those are oftentimes going to be, oh, a little easier on the patient. Not that the manual adjusting is necessarily uncomfortable, but everybody's different, so you can't treat everyone exactly the same. Other things that chiropractors will probably do is physical therapy. And when I say physical therapy, I'm talking about physical therapy modalities, things like ultrasound, electrical muscle stimulation, diathermy. All of these can be helpful. They all have some similar effects on the body. They're gonna to tend to decrease inflammation, decrease muscle spasm, increase circulation, at least temporarily. And generally, these are things that are helpful for the kind of problems most people have. Chiropractors are primarily used for musculoskeletal problems. And by that, I mean problems with joints, problems with muscles. So people with neck pain, knee pain, back pain, those are the kind of things that you would probably wanna see a chiropractor for. Chiropractors are also, in Florida, primary care physicians. So you can come to me with leprosy. I'm not gonna be able to treat your leprosy, but I'm gonna be expected to refer you properly. So being a primary care physician, I can potentially have anything walk through the door, although I am not gonna be able to treat everything that walks through the door. It's musculoskeletal problems primarily, although some chiropractors specialize in things like nutrition. Uh, so there's, there's a wide variety of things that chiropractors can do that are generally helpful. Other things that you may uh, encounter with a chiropractor are massage. Uh, in our office, we have a dedicated massage therapist, and that's a real good adjunct to therapy and adjusting. Uh, it's just one more thing that can be added that is going to be helpful. Also, things like traction can be very helpful. And the type of traction that is usually most helpful is oscillating traction. So it's not just stretched and held there. It's stretched a little bit back off, stretched a little bit back off. The traction is usually going to be most effective for things like low back problems or neck problems. They can benefit from a gentle stretch. Also, things like Movement disorders may be able to be addressed with a piece of equipment called an active therapeutic movement device. So if it hurts to bend sideways or bring your neck forward, you know, any movement that is uncomfortable can potentially be helped with something like that. So I hope this gives you a little bit better idea of what a chiropractor is, what they do, what sort of things that they can potentially be helpful with. I wanna thank you for your time and uh, I'd like you to have a good day.